Guys, we are out in uh, uh, Seven Oaks cottages between Worcester and Wolseley, and we're just going to give you a quick overview of how to start a wood fired hot tub uh, or Turkish bath. So, this is the wood fired hot tub in Turkish or Turkish bath. On the left hand side, you'll see the, uh, the heating chamber where we'll put the coals, and on the right hand side, seems to be a type of area to draw some air uh, that can adjust the how hot the uh, temperature of the Turkish bath gets so you can close that panel on the right hand side uh, to adjust the, the flow of air and on the left hand side the, the lid you just close that once you get your fire going whilst you're getting the the fire going uh, it's best just to keep the cover on the, the hot tub itself uh, that that keeps the the heat inside and once once you get up to temperature then you can take the cover off again if you've got some kindling you can get the get the fire going uh, just put a couple of logs at the bottom so the heat is uh, get the best heat when it actually turns to coals so just just pack the bin uh, with some kindling and some logs a hardwood works better just to get it going uh, and then just keep on topping it up and keep it level not 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 a full Turkish don't fill the whole drum only fill it about half um, to keep the the heat constant and throughout the evening you can just throw more of the coals or get some charcoal to put on top of the uh, on top of the drum just to keep a constant heat otherwise it's going to get way too hot so give the give the fire a bit of time to just get going um, and you'll notice on the right hand side I opened up the or closed that lid a little bit that I can just suck some air through down there and you can adjust that um, but yeah let it you can close the lid after you've after you see that the, the, the wood has started to get going and then you can see there's sort of start to smoke a bit so it'll take about one hour to three hours to to get this going so once the fire gets going and uh, you start getting some coals, uh, just intermittently you start rowing uh, just the bath in a circular motion just to circulate the heat. Uh, you'll notice that there's a, there's a pipe where at the tip of the oil there's a, there's a pipe at the top that you get the heat from the, from the, uh, the, fire, uh, the fireplace or from the Turkish bath and then at the bottom of the, the the Turkish bath, there's another hot pipe, or there's another pipe that sucks all the cold water through, so it creates like a circulation effect. There's just while you while you're stirring it, it just levels out the heat and allows you just to uh, get get a consistent heat throughout. And in between the stirring, then you put the the cover back on again. So you can stir the Turkish bath every 15 minutes or so, and put the put the cover back on after each stir and that's it it'll take about one two three hours uh enjoy